So this question says, in a circle with center O, central angle AOB has a measure of 5 pi over 4 radians. So this is going to be a plug-in picture question because the question describes a circle but doesn't provide the circle. So it doesn't matter how you know perfect your circle is. So there's my circle. Here's my center. There's O. So I just want a visual representation of what I'm reading. And then I have this AOB, which is 5 pi over 4. Again, I'm not going to take the time to figure out how big 5 pi over 4 should actually be. Maybe I should, but to start out with, I'm not. So here's A, here's B. So therefore, angle AOB is 5 pi over 4, right? So again, just getting a visual representation of what I'm reading. The area of the sector formed by central angle AOB, right? So this, this area in here, the slice of the pie, is what fraction of the area of the circle? Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared. The area of a sector, right? So a sector, a for area of a sector, is equal to x over 2 pi times pi r squared. So then, what's this x represent? Well, the x represents the central angle, actually. So the area of a sector for us will be 5 pi divided by 4 divided by 2 pi times pi r squared. In this case, we do not know the value of r, but let's, let's regroup and make sure we understand what the question is asking for before continuing on with the simplification. The area of the sector, which is this, right, a sector, is what fraction of the area of the circle? Okay, which is this. So then I'm going to take all this, right? This becomes like the numerator, right? Because it says the fraction of the area of the circle. That means pi r squared goes down below. Um, so when I start to simplify this, this pi r squared and this pi r squared immediately are gone. So all I'm left with is 5 pi divided by 4. And then instead of writing over 2 pi, I'm going to write it as... Uh, a horizontal division problem, so divided by 2 pi over 1, which turns into 5 pi over 4, right? So when we divide fractions, we keep the first fraction the same. We change the division to multiplication. We flip or rewrite the reciprocal of the second fraction. That gets rid of the pi's here. So I'm left with 5 times 1, which is 5, over 4 times 2, which is 8. So 5 eighths is the answer to this question.